Today on Performance TV, Kathy travels down to Texas to discover a slimmed down upgrade at Dustless Blasting. While back in the studio, Joe cools off a hot seat with the help of Machinist Mate. And we inflate our painting plans with an impressive portable booth. Welcome to this week's Performance TV, where we're kicking things out, out on the road, just outside of Houston, Texas, with a visit with our friends from Dustless Blasting. Now, Zach, Benny, when I think of coming to Texas, I think everything's big, but the footprint of the machine that we see behind us, it's a little bit smaller. Tell us about it. Well, you know, one thing, Kathy, that's fantastic about being a manufacturer is that we can build what our customers need. It's just not a matter of coming up with something and telling you it's the best thing that's out there. We listen to our customers, we respond to them, and we found that we had a need for so many of these guys and gals to be able to work out of their home and get something with a footprint that means that they didn't have to go out and rent a space and, you know, do things that, uh, spending extra money, so forth and so on. So I brought along Zach, uh, our general manager here, to talk a little bit about, you know, how the customers are responding to this machine and some of the things that they're doing. Zach? Sure. Well, just as you suggested, Benny, you know, as a manufacturer, we're able to make exactly what our customers need. And this particular size tool, as you can see, compared with this, you know, quarter ton pickup truck, it will fit in just about anybody's garage. And so one of the beautiful things about the mobile paint stripping and cleaning business is that it's not a brick and mortar business. Right. And so there's no need to have those extra and added expenses of a, you know, a traditional uh, business that you might have. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no power bill, there's no light bill. You know, it's, it's you and your truck, you know, rocking and rolling and going out to those jobs. Yep. And so what this machine offers is the same form, fit, and function that our larger mobile machines offer, uh, just on a much smaller footprint. Yep. So that XL has been really popular because we're able to put pallets of material on it, bring it out to the job site, but you can't put it in your garage. Yeah, you know, unless you've got an oversized garage, you know, it's just not applicable. Uh, and so again, you know, listening to our customers, they said, hey, we want to be able to park this. You know, I want to be able to do this, not necessarily on a full-time basis, but I want to be able to supplement my income. You know, I'm a police officer, I'm a firefighter, I work on an offshore drilling platform, two weeks on, two weeks off. Yep. You know, and I want to be able to work two or three days a week, you know, in order to be able to, you know, increase and add to my income. Uh, but I don't want to have an entire business that I need a storage area and so on and so forth. Well, that's exactly right. And so many of our customers are like school teachers and everybody in that, you know, business knows about graffiti, behind the gym and whatever. And then talking to the principal and saying, you know what, I've got the tool that can take care of that graffiti. So we could do it for other school districts as well. So what a great business opportunity for them. Well, exactly. You know, one of the things that so many people, you know, are able to recognize is that everything in the world around us is painted and dirty. And yeah. so what's the next logical step for a business? You know, identify kind of what's that low-hanging fruit in your area. Sure. And for a lot of people, cars, boats, graffiti removal, uh, simple masonry cleaning, you know, it's all around us, and that opportunity exists in every community around the world, actually. Well, I know, and that's perfect, because, you know, we do quite a few trade shows, and one of the things that we found out that this unit's being used a lot for is line stripe removal. So you can get in a parking garage with low ceilings and so forth and start removing the stripes that are in these jobs, and it pays a lot of money as well. It sure does. You know, aesthetics and working for property management companies is a huge opportunity. Perfect. Beautiful. <clears throat> so when they go into those parking garages, it's not just taking the line stripes off. Everybody sees as you go in where all the bumpers and fenders and tire marks are, you know, along. You're able to do multiple types of cleaning. It's not just paint removal. It's also just general cleaning as well. Exactly. So paver stones, other things that we find out about all the time. So this is an absolutely fantastic machine, you know, for you guys to get out, make some money, whether it's on the side or whether you make it a full-time job. This mobile is sized for you. Wow, guys, it just never ceases to amaze me how much you take into consideration the customer's needs and their growing needs, Zach. You know, absolutely. You know, you got to listen to what the people want. Everything that you see here, you know, we put together and manufacture ourselves. You know, Benny, all right here. So you guys have total control over everything. 
Well, that's the beauty of being a manufacturer. You know, that enables us and empowers us to be able to do what the customer needs us to do. Absolutely. This unit and so much more, you can find out about what they have to offer you. Go to their website, dustlessblasting.com. And you know what? We gotta get back to the shop. More of Performance TV right after this. Performance TV is being brought to you by ZMAX, the one product for your engine, transmission, and fuel system. Saw Blade, quality American made weld to order band saw blades. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977. And by E Charger, a revolutionary new bolt on technology. Welcome back to Performance TV. Ed Ingalls from Machinist Mate Products is back. And Ed, you've got some new products for us this week. Hi Joe, it's great to be back on Performance TV. And uh, yeah, we have some new products that we'd like to show you. Show us what you got. Well, the first product we have is our Zipcool Airflow seat liner. And you know how it is with uh, a hot uh, summer day, you go to get in your car, especially if you have leather seats. Of course, it's yeah. roasting. Well, you can really uh, feel that. So this product here uh, installs very easily. You slip it over the headliner, plug it into the cigarette lighter, and you turn it on. Wow. And you can see what happens is that it blows air up and through the matrix in the seat that you're sitting on and keeps your seat cool. Uh, here you can see the, this is the fan that blows the air. It's not loud at all. No, it's not loud. It uh, is very comfortable. Uh, so, you know, people that uh, long haul truck drivers, anybody who has, uh, has to sit for a long period of time in the car, this uh, also helps with that. No air conditioned seats. You're not going to glisten into the leather. Very cool. Now a little show and shine. Well, we have a new product. Uh, this is our car wax, which we've had on the air before. Um, but we have a new par product, which is our car wash. It's a companion product to the car wax and to our uh, line of car care products. It's a very concentrated product. Uh, you use very small amount of it. You use about a half an ounce to an ounce per gallon. Uh, if you use too much, it's difficult to get off the car because it's so concentrated. So you want to use a small amount. It's safe on any surface. I uh, won't take the wax off the car, so that's uh, a new product that we've been developing. A little bit will go a long way. And it seems you're branching out into boats as well? Yeah, we're into a little bit of everything. This is a gel coat boat. There's a lot of gel coat out there with various uh, equipment. Uh, gel coat has a problem that when it's in the sun, it has a tendency to oxidize and it gets a chalky uh, look. So this boat here, we did a, this section of the boat uh, about three months ago. Oh, wow. So you can see it sat in the sun. Uh, and that has not only restored the finish, but it protects it from uh, oxidizing further. Why don't you go ahead and show us on our uh, oxidized portion? Okay. Uh, well, the first thing you do is you clean, the, you clean the surface. It's very easy. I've already cleaned this. Uh, you simply spray a degreaser or something on to clean it. Uh, make sure it's dry. You take a small amount of the gel coat restore and protect, put it into uh, a tray, use a sponge, and you simply apply it to the surface in smooth, oh, wow. very light, even coats. And this will take about uh, oh, five, three to five minutes to dry in normal conditions. You put about three coats on and that's the, the result. Personal watercraft, boats, RVs, snowmobiles, anything that has a gel coat but not painted. Not painted. If it's painted, you want to use a wax on it, not this product. Well, very cool. Looks good. Now, you've got a whole lot of products with Machinist Mate. Yeah, we've been developing our line over the last couple of years, and we've been on the air with, uh, with all of these products. So um, they're all available on our website at machinistmate.com. But branching out into clothing now? Well, this is also part of the Zipcool line. Uh, this is a high-vis uh, construction type of jacket, uh, and it has the same fans in it that you saw in the, uh, the seat. I'm going to put it on. I imagine you're on the side of the highway or in any kind of profession that you need to be visible. It's also hot. It is hot. Uh, and the, the construction workers get out there. I was in that position myself. You get out there and you have to wear these high-vis jackets. Uh, it's 100 degrees out or more, and you know, these aren't very pleasant. Zipcool has come up with a solution for this. It has a battery pack that goes in a pouch on your waist. 
You simply plug it in, turn it on, and it blows air into the jacket. Uh, you have to zip it up, and what it does is takes the Ooh. the uh, how about that the sweat and it keeps that uh, cooling effect in the jacket. So it's about seven to 10 degrees cooler with the jacket on than it would be if it's off. And this battery pack just goes on your belt. That's correct. That is great. I can imagine you're working in any kind of situation. It can cool you down. And here you got a hard hat as well. We have a hard hat uh, that has a fan in the back of the neck, keeps the sun off your neck and blows the air up onto your neck and through the helmet. Um, we also have a vest coming out so that if you don't want sleeves, and all of these products will be available in about uh, four to six weeks. Ed, thank you very much. For more information, check out the website. I feel cool as can be. This is awesome. We've got more Performance TV coming up after this. This week's Gen Y Towing Tip of the Week. Tracy, we want to talk about what to look for in an adjustable hitch. Exactly, Kathy. Um, when it comes to adjustable hitches, we think of weight ratings. We think of the adjustability. But one of the things that sets ours apart from our competitors is the fact that instead of relying on two 5 8 inch bolts setting in a track, we've totally encapsulated the receiver so that you're also using the friction and the housing of the receiver to help carry that weight instead of just hanging on those two bolts. Because you're not just towing, you know, straight. You've got movement from side to side, and you think about a weak link bolts but with gen y you've completely eliminated that with gen y you don't need any special tools you don't need a special key or anything you just simply pull one pin you can pull it out drop it down raise it up turn it do whatever you need to do and no matter where you're going to be towing from whichever height you're going to have the same towing rating and everything else and not have to worry about you know wallering out the holes after a while like you would with bolts that's exactly what happens when all the weight is hanging on those bolts eventually the metal is going to wear and you're going to get the slop and the play and the hitch. Don't have to worry about that with a Gen Y hitch and we want to really make sure that we're, you know, towing safely. If you want to find out more, you can go to their website at genyhitch.com. And we'll have more of Performance TV right after this. Performance TV coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV. You know, whether you are a professional painter or someone who just does something every once in a while at home, it's really a good idea to think about making the investment into a mobile environmental solutions paint booth. And that's why we brought in Tom Williams. Tom, I watched this thing go up because we got the blowers and everything going. It was like within five minutes. That's, that's the neat thing about it, Kathy, is literally you can turn around, have an inflatable paint booth. You're not tying up five, 500 square feet of your shop spray what you need to spray and then turn around and drop it and put it off in the corner. Put it off in the corner and it's got everything that we need for safety reasons. I mean, that's the environmental part. Absolutely. It's got standard paint pocket filters that exceed the EPA 6H rule as far as 98% capture efficiency. It's a cross flow design that moves 8,000 CFM. It's a cross flow positive pressure design to where it turns around and, and gives you a, a permanent paint booth quality for a lot cheaper price. I know, we have the, the two blowers back here going right now, and I was standing inside, and you can kind of feel a little bit moving around in there, but but not really. I mean, which is, this is great for the guys who are doing the water, the waterborne stuff. Perfect for the guys that's doing the waterborne paint, perfect for the guy that's looking to do overflow from major body shop, doing, you know, minor blends, doing bender, uh, you know, doing bumpers and stuff like that. It's perfect for them. Yeah, we have this inside, but you can have this outside. I see all of our tie downs. Absolutely, it's got tie downs up on the top here. It's got tie downs down at the bottom. It was originally built for the guys that do used car reconditioning. That's fixing those small blemishes in the used cars, rent a car lots, etc. One of the things I really like about your paint booth, the big windows. And, and that's one of the things is, is we want to make it to where you could use natural ambient light and you have 360 degrees of clear visibility to where, I mean, there's nothing more important to a painter other than, than having a clear work area and having a nice light. Oh my gosh, yes. And the, getting back to the safety part, you've built in so many different things into your unit. You know, we don't have to worry about stuff. 
Correct. It does move a ton of air to where you're capturing the VOCs as it, as it releases to the environment. It does have emergency exit should ha something happen to where the painter can get out in a safely, timely manner. All the, the vinyl is treated with a fire retardancy to help keep it from you know, catching on fire. Now, the, the, what is the unit size of what you brought for us today? This one here is a 23 by 15 exterior dimensions and has a 9 foot 6 roof. Okay. Something I noticed about yours, too, the, the windows kind of bubble out a little bit. I mean, it's just... So what you're seeing is, is this positive pressure. So imagine a scenario of a balloon. If you fill your booth up with air, and it's going to go through the path of least resistance, which is the exhaust filters on the opposite side of the booth. Okay. All so right. So when you see the windows blown up and the roof up, it's ready to be painted in. This one, this isn't the only size that you have, Tom. No. We, we build as small as a 15 by 15 and as large as a 40 by 17 by 14. Now, wait a minute. You, you almost put, did you put a semi in there? Absolutely. Like that? You could put a semi in there. <laughs> Well, we talked about the folks who are the amateur painters, but we brought in our buddy, Danny Rollins, who is a professional painter who has done a lot of really cool stuff and why he likes to be able to use a portable paint booth. Uh, I actually like the portable booth because uh, I don't have a lot of space in my shop, for se, so once I'm done painting, I can roll up the booth, get it out of the way, and it frees up real estate. I've got a lot of customers in other states, and uh, it's a lot easier for me to take my booth to them rather than them tow their vehicles to me, so. So with this particular booth, you know, it's got a lot of windows. Is that gonna help you a lot with the, having the natural light? The more windows, the better. Uh, paint jobs, it, it all dictates by the lighting. Uh, if you don't have good lighting, the paint job won't be good either. And with this one, it's got the two big fans. We're talking 8,000 CFM. Yeah, the more the better. It's, uh, filtration is good, and plus it's easier on my health too. You know, that's pretty cool to be able to see someone, you know, using the booth in here today. Now, this isn't the only product that you have, Tom. No, we currently offer a, a booth for mobile spray and bed liners, for spray and bed liners for the, the shops that don't want to convince to a, a full-fledged spray and bed liner booth, don't want to dedicate it. You can turn around air one of these up and, and knock out all your, your spray and bed liners. And we right. also offer a booth with, uh, for uh, paintless dent repair and paintless dent repair estimates. And it's a pre-print of all the lines. It puts a reflection on the lines. It helps the, the naked eye see the, li the, the dents better. And really? Make the pop. Absolutely. Wow, that's, that is really cool. And you know, and like you said, all the different size booths you have, so helping out the folks who are the amateurs, who are the professionals, you know, and whatever their needs may be, you probably get a, you know, some pretty good feedback on your product. We, we really do. When we first started building it, like I said, it was for the, the, for the used car reconditioning, you know, doing blends and doing bumpers and just trying to dress up the used cars. Right. When we start having guys at you know your speed shops, your hot rod shops. They're spraying candies. They're spraying you know two hundred thousand dollar hot rods in there. That it's giving them a quality paint job that they never expected at the price that an inflatable paint booth does, and they don't have to turn around and make that investment because they're only using a booth once or twice a month. Oh my gosh, yes! What a great idea. MobileEnvironmentalSolutions.com. Find out what they can do for you, and we are going to have so much more right after this on Performance TV. Performance TV is being brought to you by Hotwire Auto. We do the work so you can play. Exalta Coating Systems. We paint winners. Too low. Front axle disconnect at the push of a button. And by Dustless Blasting. It's the future of surface preparation. Welcome to this week's EvapoRust question and answer session. Our first question is from Jeff. Hello, we are adding EvapoRust onto our list of approved chemicals. We really like the results. Can you tell me if there is a shelf life for your product? Not that we know. We invented this product 15 years ago and some of the very first batches are still functioning just fine, so I would say no. Our next one's from James. Hello, I bought your product and it worked great on an old automotive ashtray insert. Will it harm or dull chrome? No, let's go next door and I'll show you what it'll do to chrome. Awesome. Here's some chrome pieces that we've done earlier. You can see this is a uh, piece of a bumper. This is what it looked like before. Here's it after. And you can see the chrome here is completely okay. I mean, this it hadn't is done anything to the chrome at all, which is not great. Not at all. Just take the water and rinse it off here and you can see the chrome's great, the rust is gone. Mm -hmm. And even, you want to hold that yeah. for me? Here's one chrome-plated plastic from an old... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you can see this side's the rusty side. Yeah. 
and here's the where we've de-rusted it, and the chrome-plated plastic is even a-okay. Awesome. You rinse that off, dry it off, oil up. I'm not saying this might ever work again, but it might. Who knows? Anyway, it's safe on chrome. Yeah. No problems. Simple, easy to use, plastic, rubber, even the hoses, which fine. is great. If you have any other questions, please visit our website. Welcome to this week's Clamp Tight Close-Up. You know, sometimes when you're out in the trail or you're out in the field and something breaks, you don't always have the right part. Sometimes when you're taking a smaller diameter tube and going to a larger diameter and that fitting broke or you just need to splice two different size hoses together, Clamp Tight actually has a solution for this. Nikki, can you explain how this works? Absolutely, because in a reducer situation, you've got to be able to fit both of these together. And you don't find a fitting that was gonna, that's going to close this down as tight as you need it to be. That's where the Clamp Tight tool comes in. So let me show you how it works. Take your wire, bring your ends together, make a loop. Feed the ends through the loop. And you want to go around one more time, right up through the center of the first one, just like that. Then I go through and make sure I'm not crossed or twisted because you're in a nice, even seal. Take the tool. Take the nose of the tool, place it right underneath the loop, wrap it up and around each of the pegs, twist it together just like a bread tie. It's a notch at the bottom of the tool. That's what you're going to put the loop into, just like so and start turning. So that's going to get it clamped down nice and tight, and you're going to be able to close that, dia that larger diameter tube down over the, the smaller one. It looks like we've got a couple inches here, too, where we can really clamp it down. You could, actually. You can just keep turning it until you get to the tightness that you want it to be. Then mm -hmm. when you're ready to close it off, flip it over. That locks it in place. Loosen it. Pull the tool away. Take your cutters, about a quarter of an inch or so. Bend your tabs down. Nice and clean, and you're all done. Wow, this really is a versatile tool. For more information and to see how this works, go to the website, clamptighttools.com. Well, that's all we have time for this week. Hey, if you have a product that you would like to have featured on television, just contact Jeff at masterstv.com, and we'll have so much more again next week on Performance TV.